Chipman fighting out of Dallas, Texas. Derek only giving up two pounds in this fight. Pretty even matchup for the most part. Derek A. Game Atkins, a multi sport athlete, combat sports athlete. Like I said, Justin, he does have that big win over Bo Gibbs. So he can fight. Derek Atkins putting on pressure early on in round number one against the taller fighter. He's, he's very Shipman, awkward. Though, he's, he's trying to walk him down and, and keep the center of that, the ring. Well, Derek has that awkwardness that works for him. He's rugged. He's tough. Awkward. Good hit. That was a hit butt right there, Justin. I don't think it was intentional. I uh, no. I'm going to tell you right now, you don't want to get in a grappling situation. Like that, that's for sure. So I'll be interested to see what Derek does in a clinch situation in a boxing match. Definitely throwing punches, getting yeah, those punches yeah, in there. No doubt. I'm not seeing a lot of uh, you know real clean boxing technique from Derek, but good blocking right there. Absolutely good head movement, not staying still, not staying in one spot. Little wilder punches, not 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 super clean, but that unorthodox style could be something that John Shipman hasn't seen before. So oh, he hasn't. It, it's very difficult fighting awkward guys, Justin. You know, like Michael Spinks was a very awkward guy to fight. It worked for them, they were so awkward. I do like, uh, you know, Derek, how he uses those those awkward angles. Like I said, he, he's an outside the box type of thinker right here. And he doesn't stay in a straight pipeline with, with John Shipman. Right, Shimming. exactly. And he's I coming think up. if he did, that would be a death sentence for him here. Because John Shipman's no slouch either. Not at all. Good jab to the body there by John. John is a very patient fighter. He may be doing that same thing that uh, Aaron Chambers was doing a little while ago and letting, letting Derek kind of punch himself out. Good body shot by but Derek I, inside. Knowing Derek, I don't think that he's going to punch himself out anytime soon. He's a guy that says he's in pretty good shape. I mean, he owns a gym, for God's sake. So like we said, he, he he's a grappler at heart, and that grappling stamina, like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it, it's a whole other level. Definitely. Most of the time when you're fighting a really awkward guy, you got to be patient and wait for them when they miss. And that's kind of what John Ship is doing. Yeah. He's catching them on the way in yeah. and on the way back out with that because he's got the reach advantage. Derek in that clinch, working those punches inside. And being a high-level uh, you know, BJJ fighter you know, in, in you know, Derek Atkins as well, I'm, I'm not sure how that how well that translates into boxing, but I, you can definitely understand that they are not feeling the danger while being in the clinch. Yeah, because that, you would think that they, you know, just from their experience in the MMA world and from the jiu-jitsu world, being in close quarters is a comfort zone for them. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. That's a good point. And and you're gonna that's gonna be a lot of that taking place in this fight, and they gotta watch the headbutt because Derek's coming in there hard. I've already had one accidental up under the can, but it wasn't too serious. Exactly. Couple of, like, uh, you know, kind of a, a, a little tale being told here with the foreigners here. Over here, you got legendary boxers, been in the game forever. Over here in the blue corner with uh, John Shipman. Uh, you know, you got you got your guys over here from Oak Bogey, you know, high boxing pedigree. And over here, you've got a BJJ black belt in Justin Overton uh, in the corner with uh, you know, with Derek Atkins. Very high caliber athlete himself. You can see the guns on him as well. Well, you know. with, with Shipman, we, we tell guys, hey, this is boxing. Don't let an MMA guy come in here and beat you. This is your sport. I understand That's that. how we look at that, Justin. One thing I've noticed, though, you see a lot more MMA guys coming to boxing than you do boxers coming to MMA. Right. You know, granted, uh, you know, there's always a saying there's a little bit more money money in boxing, but, you know, especially on a regional level, try it all out. You know, yeah. see where you stand. Maybe, you know, your hands will, will translate really well in an in, in MMA standpoint. And, you know, like Derek Atkins here, very high caliber MMA fighter. No doubt. No doubt. Trying his hand at boxing. And he has like some success. He, he beat the guy yeah, in the main event today. Success. Yeah. So, like, it's... No slouches right here, man. And the way I look at it, man, a fight is a fight is a fight. No doubt. You know, 
it, it, it takes a lot of guts to step in the, either a ring or a cage or a pit or however way you did it, you know, back in the day. You know, like, there's been times we fought in, like, you know, barbed wire. You know, there's been times we fought in a sand pit. Yeah, no doubt. Right. <laughs> Bare exactly. knuckle. Queen, Marcus of Queensbury rules. We, you know, MMA rules. No holds barred. All those things. Yeah. You never know. When you got that fighter spirit in you, you don't care. You don't care, Justin. And Shipman better wake up because Derek is not going to bag off. He's going to keep coming like he's That's coming. true. That's true. He's got a lot of heart and he's got a tough chin. One thing you don't want to do is uh, fight those guys that are willing to dip their, their hands in glass and fight you to type a death match. <laughs> Stay away yeah, from those guys. Right. They don't yeah. care. Now, one interesting thing here, uh, Shipman don't want Derek to out hustle him. And just those little shots like that, Derek is out hustling him. He exactly. can steal some rounds. One thing about Derek, even as unorthodox as he is and as patient as Shipman is, Derek is throwing punches Big and punches. Yeah, he is. He is, Justin. And he's staying busy. You know, we're going to see if he can keep up the pace. I think, you know, you're going to see that he's going to be able to keep it up better than, like, Mitch Raines and whatnot. But I, I feel like Derek Atkins is a, a high-caliber enough athlete to be able to, to keep up a good pace, at least into the, you know deep into the third round. Yeah, we'll see if he can get into the fourth. He's never had problems with fatigue. He never has had problems with his fatigue. And this is actually a six round bout, so oh, it, it, okay. it's going to go. That. It could go deep. It could go okay. deep. Let's well, see. I didn't know that. And Derek has been in main events, so he Absolutely. he's no stranger to the sport of boxing. Main event of regional MMA yeah. fights as well. He's uh, main event at uh, HD Boxing back in the day. Yeah, HD no doubt. MMA. Yeah. He's just he's just a little heavier. This all. That's all. Oh yeah. He, well, he the mouthpiece older. went. Somebody's mouthpiece went. Good clean I think break. That was Shipman's mouthpiece. Shipman lost his mouthpiece there. I wonder if that was where that, that glob of blood snot fell. Oh, that'd be gross. Oh, don't say that, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make you lose your appetite for Thanksgiving, man. That, that ain't cool. <laughs> yeah. That was I'm, a hell of a hell of a round, man. I'm loving this fight all the way around. Atkins is bringing on the, uh, a, 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 a ferocious fighting tactic here. Shipman's fighting a smarter fight, but I don't know if he's winning in the rounds with it, though. I'm kind of giving Derek those first two rounds just on hustle. I, I would know, be inclined hustle, to agree. And uh, let's see if he can impress the judges with it. I mean, it, you know, it's awkward technique, but the punches are landing. That's the difference. Yeah. He's getting them at awkward angles, and those awkward angles, man, you catch them in the 45 degrees. We'll see how they go. Here we go, round number three. Derek's not even breathing that hard. No, Derek's got that Balboa, Rocky Balboa style, you know. I do like that. Yeah, he's coming out. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of get a, a Rocky Balboa versus Apollo Creed vibe here, man. Yeah, I'm, li yeah, I'm liking yeah, this. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you and me both right here are going to love yeah, this man. type of fight right here. For sure. Now, he probably never seen that move before in his life. <laughs> no, he probably, I bet he has. I know Derek Atkins is a huge fight fan, fight movie fan, action movie fan, all that stuff. Very, very much into pop culture. <laughs> Referee kind of warning about that uh, uh, inadvertent headbutt. Derek Atkins being the shorter fighter, tucking his chin in as he yeah. comes in, trying to protect his chin. At the same time, you're not going to be able to see from the top of your crown if you're going to be hitting your opponent's chin on the way in. Good point. Because obviously, the fighting style of Derek Atkins is a little awkward. He's having to throw punches from awkward angles. But when he does have to come in, he has to bulldog his way in and do it quickly because John Shipman has that long reach advantage. Yeah, and I think if Derek gets inside and he uses his mauling and brawling and clinching and all that, I think that's to his advantage into his sport. It, it, it Possibly. Yeah. 
But, you know, to, to Derek Atkins' credit for being a high-level jiu-jitsu guy, he's not doing a lot of grappling. He's no, not he's doing not. a lot of clinching. When he gets in, he gets in and gets out. And, and I, I respect that. I think he's doing a, a, a hell of a job doing that. Catching awkward angles. Kind of almost a no-look punch right there. Good, good punches on the break. You, and you can tell a little bit, Justin, that it's really bothering uh, Shipman a little bit, you know. The, the awkwardness can kind of just make you hesitate. Ooh, that was a good good punch. Kind of a duck under by Shipman, but he kind of got a little wobbly leg with it. So we'll see. Shipman just needs to get something going. He's got Good he's, footwork and, and angles by, by Derek. Oh, oh man, good pause and, and throwing that, that right cross. Good work against the body, body straight no punches doubt. into the gut. John Shipman working that jab, but he's not throwing a lot. Good Ooh, right, good hand right by cross Shipman. by Shipman. Lead uppercut by Derek Atkins. Look at that interesting foot look, footwork. That's almost a stanky leg yeah. move right there. Just kind of, oh, look at that. That hook that he came in just like blindly throwing. That was interesting. That was Whoa. really interesting. Yeah. I, I'm enjoying this fight, man. We, you know, hey, we're man. Yeah. Three it, in. I was looking forward to this fight. Me Good too. to see Derek out there again. He hadn't fought a, had a boxing match probably in quite a while. Probably, uh, yeah, definitely. Derek over there with his uh, pirate mustache and his Captain Morgan stance on the stool. I like it, Justin. I like the I mustache. I like it, too. I like the rum. Let's pack some more rum. We need more rum. <laughs> Why is the rum gone, Rodney? Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, Derek, Derek is not going to back off. Now, he did take a big right hand from uh, Shipman. But, uh, Shipman seems a little bewildered at this awkwardness. He got to get over that, Justin. He got to get over that. He got to put some offense together. Another interesting thing by doing that, the, uh, Derek Atkins, the kind of an unorthodox style all around, especially in his break, mm -hmm. he's stretching his hips that yeah. way. Yeah. And, you know, with, with his angles that he's working, he uses a lot of hip movement to, to you know, get those awkward angles, those different looks that I'm pretty sure John Shipman's not used to. Good shot by Shipman right there to the chest. Yeah, that was a good power shot. If Shipman would just pepper those jabs more, I think he could blind yeah, he, uh, he, he, Derek a little bit. Yeah, he needs to get little, that jab going. A little more going. frequency with those jabs. Then I think he could control the awkwardness a little bit. But we'll see. That was a big one, too, right there. I think he's trying to be there. a little more measured with his punches. That way he can land that, that power shot. But I don't think Derek's going to fall for it. What round are we in? Are we in three or four? We're in three. This is three. Yeah. I'm just so enthralled at technique right now, I'm losing track of time. Three-minute rounds, too. So. Yeah. A little more patient fighting from both sides right here. As to be expected in the third round, you know. Well, this is the fourth round. This is the fourth round. Halfway through the round right here. Good body shot by Derry. Little hesitation there, though. Yeah. Just standing there blocking and nothing being thrown. Makes me wonder is he starting to get tired? Yeah, he's you getting can, he's getting in there. You could see the welts coming up on his face too from those punches from Shipman. Yeah. Shipman keeping that traditional boxing stance. Shipman's just getting out hustled, Justin. He's just not throwing enough punches. Very true, very true. 
Good body shot by Shillman. He's being very patient and selective on the shots. So very good body shot. Like by I Shilman. said, like sometimes it may not be that number of shots, but his accuracy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the amount of shots he's throwing and landing per capita, I think, is uh, is adding up. Ten seconds left in this round. Good hard punches by good shot by Derek. He's hungry. He's yeah, hungry. Shot by Derek. He's no doubt about it. Got to give it to him. He's working, Justin. He's working. What a fight so far. Yeah, I was right. That was the fourth round. You and I both getting lost in time. We watching all this oh, stuff. Man, yeah, we get Thank so God for it, our yeah. judge over here doing an impeccable job keeping yeah. track of stuff. We're over here confused. But I'm just well, loving this fight, man. I'm, this is phenomenal. Well, once again, Justin, we had a guy standing up in the first two rounds. Now we see now Derek he's sitting, sitting down. Yeah. He's tired. Yeah. But I, did he gas himself out in those last ten seconds? Because he went bulldog mode. He did. He did. He did. You know, he went. He went like, you know, trying to chew on a steak mode right there. And I mean, he wanted to end that round strong. So we're going to see if that's going to help Shipman or hinder got him. Some here. Shipman got some good shots in that round, but I don't know. Shipman is a very patient fighter, though. Yeah. Like is I said, he too patient, patient, Justin. Patient and precise, though. Yeah. See, who, who's coming out looking fresher right now? Shipman. Yeah. And it's fifth round. That, this is when it really counts. Yeah. This yeah. is the deep waters. So right now, Shipman could possibly be the shark yeah. digging his, his prey into this deep water. This is a very important round right here. It is a very important round. I like seeing these longer rounds, these extra rounds. Mind you, the last time uh, I saw Derek Atkins fight, it was in an MMA fight. I've watched him do jiu-jitsu. Those have been seven-minute uh, matches, uh, you know, three uh, five-minute round fights for MMA. Total of, you know, 15 minutes. Here he is in the fifth round, three-minute rounds. It's going to be a big difference. Yeah. Like at the end of this will be an entire MMA fight, and he still has one more round to go. Yeah. Was that by design? What, like, does he want to test himself, or, or is that going to be in Shipman's favor later? So we're going to see. So this is this is deep into the third round in an MMA yeah. fight for him. No doubt. No doubt. Mouthpiece went out again. There's that mouthpiece and again. Shipman, Shipman obviously staring at it, kind of wondering if he's going to get... Stop it. Break. Derek Ack is allowing the referee to get a mouthpiece break. I'm wondering if, if that's smart because uh, he may need a, a, a little bit of air. Uh, yeah, he, usually but, when you see that, the guys are doing that to preserve energy. Very true. All right, time back in. Very sportsmanlike, but I mean... Did he want to conserve the energy? Did he want to try to catch an extra Good body win? shot there by Derek? But is that to John Shipman's favor or is that to Derek's favor here? Well, both guys are equally tired, I think. One thing about having your mouthpiece fall out like that or or whatever, they rinse it off with water. Is he getting a little extra drink of water right there deep into this fifth round? Oh yeah, he's he getting a little sneak of drink. A little sneak of drink. Yeah. Little sneaky, sneaky drink. Hey, I've had trainers to purposely kick over the ice bucket. I've been, a, no I've been accused of that because I had a Ziploc bag break <laughs> one time. I felt like an idiot. <laughs> I've done it a couple of times. Oops, sorry, kick that, the ice bucket over. That was the last time I had my girlfriend pick the Ziploc bag, so I, <laughs> she wasn't having that. I was like, no, I want the ones with the zippers, not, not the press-ons. But in all fairness, you got to get a good screw on ice bag. But you know, you know how it is. Yeah, I do. These little moments right here is Derek out hustling him in these little moments right here. I would be inclined to agree. Derek is putting on a hell of a performance. He's putting pressure on. Unorthodox style. Yeah. Anticlimactic in there, but there he is, Captain Morganing again. Hey, hey, Justin. 
Yes, and I tell my fighters, he come back to the corner. I'm telling my fighter, he's an MMA guy and you're a boxer. What the hell is wrong with you? Come on, baby, let's get it. Yeah, I mean, in, in MMA and boxing, there's still punches. No doubt. Yeah, the only difference is, is you don't have to worry about your opponent taking you down here, doing that ground and pound stuff. I think we may see these guys both open up. I know that uh, Shipman really needs to open up this last round. He could make it interesting. Absolutely. Hopefully, he's, his uh, court is smart enough to let him know that it's, it could be one of those tie games or, yeah. or he could be down on some points because of the, the uh, how busy Derek Atkins is. Exactly, been. Justin. Right. So they got to get that dog in him. They yeah. got to get that dog yeah. in him. And here he is. Derek Atkins coming out like damn Brunson over here. The body shot by Derek. The body. Oh, another mouthpiece falling out by John Shipman. And usually when that happens, Justin, like that, now he can lose, he can get disqualified. He can get disqualified. That's that's three times. That may, what I'm wanting to know, is he doing it on purpose or is he doing it because he's having a hard time breathing? Sometimes guys get those mouth pieces that's too big. They don't fit. <laughs> very true. Very true. Derek Atkins got that dog in him right now. Yeah, I'm does, very Justin. surprised. Sixth round, he is coming out like a house well, no of fire. No doubt about it, baby. No doubt about it. Absolute house of fire here. Hard punches, fighting with all his heart. It, it's almost like John Shipman kicked his best pig. Derek is all over the place in that ring. He is all over him like a pack of dogs on a three-legged cat. <laughs> he is picking him clean right now. Working angles, odd angles, punches and bunches. I mean, he's still getting hit, but look at that smile. You can tell he's loving oh, yeah, he every minute. He wants it. He wants it. That's a bad place to be with the jiu-jitsu guy. You don't want to get in his, gu in his guillotine, man. Look at that. I like that angle there. punch to the gut. Here we go. We're going to get rained on with sweat. Derek is just mauling and brawling his way through this fight. And it's working for him. Oh, yeah. He gets that little sneaky body shot in there. It's good, man. I love seeing that little uh, you know, fade, fade to the left. Yeah. Uppercut to the body. Getting after that spleen, getting after that, that liver. Shipman should have worked more on that double jab right hand over the top. It, Absolutely. It, it, he really should. That punch is there for him. He's, He's got a reach advantage. He just needed to learn how to use it. Exactly, it. right. Like I said, Shipman's no slouch. He's deep into the sixth round right here with him all the way. No doubt. Still throwing punches, still being no effective. Doubt. But did he do enough? do the damage he needed to do here. Lost his damn mouthpiece again. They're going to disqualify him, man. He's on the verge. He could be on the verge of a disqualification. You they can't get a point taken away. I'm very surprised, Justin, right, right, that right, they right, have right. not took a point away from him. Sometimes you got to just bite down on it and keep it in. It'd be very interesting to know why the referee did not take a point. That's the fourth time that mouthpiece has come out. It, it's one of those things, man. It's just going to be, it, it would be cheaper. You know, like you don't want to, you know, the whole fight to be cost because of a stupid mouthpiece. You no, know I mean? but I'd rather them just fight without it before taking a point away personally. But at the same time, you know, when is enough enough? Well, it's unfair to the other fighter if he get, you got to keep stopping like that. Or does Derek Atkins get that win to keep that dog fight going? Might have with him out too. Right there, Might man! Derek out too. Wow, what a what a fight, guys! Good lord, I enjoyed that. I, uh, like, I'm thoroughly I thoroughly enjoyed this whole fight. That was I'm exhausted. I'm I'm exhausted. I know <laughs> these guys are <laughs> are definitely exhausted. Derek's gonna sleep good tonight. Yeah, <laughs> the referee was very generous in not taking a point away there. At least taking a point away. Because it happened four times. 
And, and here's the thing, though. Just because the referee didn't take a point away doesn't mean that the judges didn't take a point away. Yeah, 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 right. They still right. have the authority to, to be like, point. that was ridiculous. That was too much. Yeah. You don't know what the opinions are. Hell, the judges may even have scored this bout in favor of uh, you know, the more accurate punches of, no doubt. of John no Chippen doubt. here. No doubt. So, the most skilled guy. man, I always tell him if you lo- in a decision fight, you don't lose the fight, you lose an opinion. You don't win a fight, you win an opinion. And that's all this is right here. It's going to be an opinion of the judges. See who won that. My personal opinion, I think Derek took it away. I think he was a busier fighter, stayed aggressive, stayed consistently aggressive. He, and, he came just like I thought he would. Derek came just like I thought he would. Nothing's changed. He absolutely. kept coming. Mutual respect for corners right there. I love seeing that. Our ring announcer, Sean Pryor over there talking with uh, director Joe Miller about the results of this fight. Waiting on the government. You know how that is. It's going to take forever. I mean, this could have been a lot closer than we think. Like, you and I, we both know. Right, exactly. You know, you know, I, got, I got this. You know, I, my personal, I'm, I'm in favor of Derek Atkins here. Sometimes I can, see a, I can see a fight better from a distance. I'm yeah. right up on it. I can't see everything. So I completely I'm agree. Gonna go with Derek so here we go. Sean Pryor with the official judge's decision. That was a very interesting score. One, one, like I said, one judge scored that in even fight. Hey! 